Hey you guys, JT here with a um, quick video update. Um, Traxxas has announced a Slash um, 4x4 Ultimate or a new one. Um, I figured I'd go ahead and do this real quick to show this to you guys. Not too many things have been changed on here, um, but they did add a couple of components from the Rustler 4x4. Um, they added the um, drive shafts and then the A-arms. And then, they, of course, they painted the body a different color scheme. And then they added um, the GTR shocks, but they're like blue aluminum now. So, uh, basically, what is this right here? Quick video, real quick. I think it's got the onboard audio on and all that on there. Um, but the price is $529.99. Um... So it's probably going to be about $4.99 in stores. And it doesn't look like there's too much updated on it. Do, 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 skate park running. Do, 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 do. Okay. I, I, I don't want to hear that. Sorry. Y'all can, y'all can listen to that, that if y'all want. Um... <laughs> Sounds like uh, I'm not, yeah. Anyway, the uh, video is pretty cool, and it's cool how they're doing this right here. You see how the car is jumping, and they got these little images as it comes up and comes down. So that's pretty cool and innovative to do, to advertise the car. But this is basically a Slash Ultimate. Um, I'm not going to go through everything with that. Seems like it comes with two color schemes. This one, I think, a reddish, this green and reddish. Uh, here it talks about the new GTR shocks. Um, it's got a Metal Gear servo, so that's good. I hope that's waterproof, which I'm pretty sure it is. These are the same drive shafts they're using on the Rustler 4x4. So you guys can expect they're going to redo a Stampede 4x4. I did hear that there will be a Stampede 4x4 2.0 on an Emacs. Um, a new Emacs coming out as well that's going to be redesigned like they did the Revo. Um, I heard that earlier this year, so we'll see when that's announced and released. It probably won't be till next year because it's... Too late in the year for them probably to announce that, but they may do it. They did the Stampede 4x4 in 2009. They announced that in November and it hits shelves in December. So Traxxas may surprise people and do that. But this is nothing but a, a, a regular Ultimate with just a couple of upgrades on it. This photo actually is outdated because you see it has the old um, A-arms there and the old drive shaft. So they might have to update that. Um so here are the, the new GTR shocks that they're putting out with, which I do like that blue. It does make it stick out more. Um, gets that bling bling feeling. I'm not feeling this body paint scheme too much. Um, that's just me. Yeah, I'm not feeling that body paint design too much. I think it goes good with the rusters and the revos, but for this short course, I don't think it goes too well, but it may look better in person. So let's let's see. Specs, features, uh, I think it comes with the onboard audio too, but this does not, of course, come with the battery. So $529, going to be $499, so that's going to be pretty expensive. I mean, you're getting into, <clears throat> if you're not already into low-C territory, I mean, you're looking at, you know, a low-C SCTE 4.0, you're looking at Kyosho, you're... I mean, you're looking at the, the high-end race cars that will perform locally and nationally out the box, where this will do okay locally, but if you go to a national circuit or something to race, if you're racing, um, you won't do the best. I'm just going to let you know. I mean, the Slash is fine if you're getting started and out there, and if you bash a little bit, of course, it's good for bashing. The aftermarket support is good, but if you go to a race level uh, nationally with this, or even regional, or... You know, locally you'll do okay, but even locally they're stepping their game up and they're ordering a lot more stuff. So this is kind of like what some of the kids running the novice class is some of the slashes and stuff. Um, so you're into that territory with that price. So in the it still has the same old VXL system, which people normally get rid of. It does come with the center diff, which is good. Um, you guys know what these center diffs, um, you have a choice of a 54, 52, and 50 tooth uh, spur gear you can put on there. And then, of course with the slipper clutch you can use the um e revo or uh yeah e revo spur which is a um, mod 136 tooth which people do for speed runs and stuff but you do have options for there here's this servo so so metal gear servo that's good um that's good so for me just me personally it doesn't justify the price because this is still even though this is what a, f a four channel radio 
our four channel receiver um or even up to five channels this is still a two channel radio yeah it even says it right there two channels so you know it, it was not going to hurt that if you're going to pay that kind of money to give you three channels but uh i don't know what to say on this one i kind of wanted them to do something different with the slash uh, I don't know. I don't know what else they could do with it to make it different. Make give it a metal chassis like the Red Cat uh, TRMTSC is, because that's that's a good performing truck. And I think that's three fifty nine if the price hasn't went up. And that will outrun a slash, guys. It, it will outperform and outrun. It really, really will. It is a very good performer um, out there. So uh, let's see what this other video is about, real quick before we end this. Will they make it? Of course they will. They wouldn't have filmed it. Is that with the stock tires? There's no way it can go across the water like that and hit that with stock tires. That's got to be paddle. I saw a little... Those can't be stock tires and wheels. Those have to be paddles on there. Let's listen. Yeah, I can see a kid trying that right now. And their car's getting dropped in the lake. <laughs> That's going to be funny. They're going to get a lot of phone calls on that. I saw it on the video and I tried it. My car just sunk in the lake. But anyway, I won't keep this video any longer. You guys put your comments down below. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this. Um, and stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching.